Sit back and enjoy the best environment you'll see. It's going to be a big one down in Austin on Saturday. Catch the game day crew Saturday at 9 a.m. on ESPN. Let's take a look at today's road test presented by Goodyear. Texas is 25 and one as an AP top five home team over the last 20 seasons. Good for the best such record in those games. The dogs have played an AP number one team eight times, but never on the road. That changes Saturday in Austin. Here's Kirby Smart on what he's looking for from his team this week. I want to see them play their best game against Texas. I mean, simply stated, I mean, we have not played our best game. We have not put a complete game together. And that's what every coach's goal is, right? To, to, to play your best game moving forward. And th th that's what's going to be needed to go on the road at Texas and play. We, we, we got to play better. And that's, that's the only goal I'm thinking about right now is how we play this week. Now, Pete, Georgia, for the first time since 2021, is being considered an underdog in their matchup against Texas. Can you tell us why? Well, I think it's simply put, Victoria, Georgia's an underdog because they've been underwhelming this season. They were underwhelming uh, at Mississippi State last week, giving up 31 points. On defense, the sum has not been greater than the parts. They have really good defensive personnel. The NFL really likes many of their players to be drafted. Uh, I was told by one scout that this Georgia team could break the last Georgia record, which is the NFL record for most players drafted. But something hasn't synced up for Georgia on that defensive side of the ball. They've been without a full throttle. Michael Williams, Smell Munden is going to miss this game because of injury. Just everything isn't firing. Like Kirby said, they haven't played their best game. And this is the time where a team like Texas is going to want to expose that. You would think about last week, Texas playing Oklahoma. That's a game over the last several decades has been a game of swings. But there was not too many swings outside of being down by three early and then scoring 34 straight. Texas looked dominant for the majority of that game. And now the true test comes where they get a chance to play a Georgia team that hasn't played a complete game. They've played complete halves or complete quarters, but haven't played a complete game. And so that's what Texas is going to try and do. They're going to try and, now that Quinn Ewers is back healthy, Going to try and get him back in a groove, take shots down the field, offensive line. Guys like Kelvin Banks going to have to protect. Hayden Connor going to have to protect. Then the run game is going to be extremely important. They're down their top two backs. We talked about it earlier in the season, but guys like Trey Wisner have stepped up. Right, the offensive line has stepped up. And so it's been an impressive opportunity for Texas over the first few weeks. But now the real test begins when you play Georgia. Well, Sam, I agree with you. I think that's kind of where the difference is here. There's been a complimentary run game to the passing game, despite the injuries for Texas. With Georgia, there's not. I think that's the biggest concern I see with Georgia is they're throwing the football too much. They have not been able to get into a rhythm in the run game where they get themselves in a second and third and short advantageous line to gain so that they can start dictating terms of how the game is going to be played. They're playing behind the chains. Who would have ever thought Georgia would be the 13th ranked rushing team <laughs> in the SEC. And so you go on the road, you better be able to run the football so that the play action game can start opening up. And oh, by the way, run the football effectively. That Texas offense stays on the sideline. So Lugs, what does a Georgia win look like? Well, you know, coaches talk about playing a complete game. I think we all strive for that, but it's probably not overly attainable. Mm. I think it's about consistency. And I think when you have two teams like Texas and Georgia, where the talent is equitable across the board, meaning that somebody doesn't have a glaring deficiency somewhere that's going to be overly exposed, then it becomes about avoiding errors. Mm. You know, most football games are lost. They're not won, especially when talent is equal. And so I think you got to go on the road if you're Georgia and you cannot make critical errors that turn into catastrophes because I think Texas will jump all over that. I might have a little